So this is another video vlog or B vlog or whatever. Um, I decided that I was going to do a little bit of written vlogging, a little bit of video vlogging. Um, and one of the topics that I kind of wanted to talk about was about being a better, realer version of yourself. You know, that's kind of my tagline if you've seen it over my blog, uh, my Instagram. Um, being a better, realer you. And that just kind of means like be you, express yourself, you know, T tell people what you believe in. Don't be like mean or malicious about it, but like be you, do what you want to do, you know, make time for you. You know, you're your own best friend, you're your own shadow, you know, you walk next to yourself. Why not be nice to yourself? You know, the question that I often have to ask myself is, you know, would would you say the things that you say to yourself to a stranger? And most of the time we answer no because, oh, we gotta be polite to a stranger. We don't even know the stranger, but yet we know ourselves and we're willing to put a stranger on a higher pedestal than loving ourselves or being nice to ourselves. You know, and I've been on kind of this crazy journey of self-discovery or self-development or, you know, mindset or, I don't exactly know what it is, but it's been such a crazy emotional ride, but I have found myself in all of this and you know it's, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is being a better version of yourself. So that's kind of one of those things that you have to do day in and day out and that's kind of the topic of my ebook. It's you know 1A, check up from the neck up. Um, you know, you have to check yourself every day, like check your mindset's good, check your love for yourself's good, check your self-worth, you know, know you're enough, like, you know, and that's what leads to small inner happiness, you know, and once everything is kind of leveled off and we feel good inside, you know, or we, we feel whole or we understand or, you know, or we're expressing ourselves and we're, we're doing what we want to do and our heart's desires and our dreams and, you know, our soul burns for the things that we're doing. And, you know, that's when you're being you. That's when you're being the most you. You know, when you're doing something that you haven't done in forever. Like last summer, I hadn't hiked in forever, but somehow I managed to do three to 11 miles a day. Mostly, you know, seven or 11, you know, depending on the day. But, it's like I had to go back and remember something that I, I used to like when I was a better version of myself and I had to do it and do it over and over and over again and you know it just became second nature so you know a lot of people are like holy crap 11 miles no it's really not that bad like you just and go you know and that was the cool thing every step that I took I was uncovering something about myself and you know, I was just learning more and more about myself because I spent so much time with myself. And you know, hence why maybe this journey, some people don't understand and they're like, wow, she's crazy. A lot of people do though, you know, and it's funny because I've had a few people like, oh, I didn't understand what you're doing when you're doing it, but you know, now I'm kind of going through it and I get it now. You know, and, and that's kind of the thing. Don't judge somebody because you don't know what's going on, you know, in there. And you can't really relate, you know, and that's kind of why, oh, I understand how you feel. No, you can relate to how I feel, but you don't understand. So, you know, don't judge somebody's journey. Don't, don't knock them trying to be a better person, you know. And that's kind of what this corona or COVID or whatever you call it, um, it's kind of something that we all needed, you know, kind of like a break, um, some time with ourselves if you were quarantined by yourself or some time with our loved ones to mend those relationships. But it was kind of like a self-actualization or self-realization time or, you know, just kind of some time that we needed to disconnect and like go back to our roots, you know? <laughs> For me, it was like, oh my gosh, I didn't have any makeup. I still don't have any nails. My hair looked like, look, I had a quarantine mess. But you know what, it's like, those were all things that I had to internally like, okay, my eyelashes aren't gonna kill me. My nails aren't gonna kill me. Nobody's seeing my messed up hair, so what does it matter? And if they do, I can wear a hat. Like, you know, just all the things that I used to be like, oh my gosh, you know, superficial about. But it was like getting back to the real me. Like, 
And the only thing that was fake at one point was the color of my hair and my tattooed eyebrows or micro eyebrows. Like nothing else that like I do to myself to make me feel better like my nails or my eyelashes. I didn't have any so I was just real and raw you know and I wasn't wearing makeup. I wasn't really doing my hair but I was like you know what that's like what I needed to see myself for who I really am and it was just that extra nudge that I needed to love myself you know because a lot of the times you just like repress that and you just don't even know it's a limiting belief or you don't even know you're the one that conditioned it for yourself you know and that's the crazy thing there we were all born like a blank slate like we had no judgments of ourselves no self-esteem issues no nothing like we loved ourselves and we were cool with what we had and we were bold and we were confident and then like the world kicked in and then we weren't who we were you know and I look back to um some times in my life that you know I'm like where is that little girl you know big and bold and boisterous you know where is that little girl that didn't care that was like look at me hear me roar like I was so confident which is so crazy because I was a fat kid but I was just kind of like you know what I got this I can be a leader like you know I, I was confident and it worked you know and then you know I look back to a time where my boss what I was in a sales slump and he's like where's that girl at the bar that was like yelling at me and you know telling me what to do and you know blah 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 where is she and it's like yeah where was she you know where'd she go and you know we just get lost in life and you know for me I got lost in my job you know and if you watched a previous video and it's kind of telling the story about um, Diary of a Score and Timeshare Queen where the name came from or kind of like where the inspiration came from you know I, I gave so much to my job that my job was my identification you know why you know I was so miserable literally like I left work pissed off I cried probably once a week like at work <laughs> and not to mention what I did outside of work you know and it's just like for people that didn't even care like for people that were pushing me back like you know it was never like oh you know Rachel come to me and you can puke up and that's acceptable because you shouldn't puke down you should always puke up but it's like, oh, she's just complaining. No, like, I'm trying to find a resolution. I'm, like, trying to let you know how I feel and why I feel that way. And it was just, like, this miscommunication. And, you know, I felt like I was on a deserted island. But there were so many people there, you know. And it was, like, I was the only woman manager. And it was timeshare. And, uh, like, the day that I finally quit almost a year ago which is kind of crazy i think i'm gonna celebrate the anniversary but um yeah the day that i quit i was so scared because i was like oh, okay like i don't have a job but then like my identity was gone i'm like i'm so lost like i don't know what to do without timeshare like this was my life for the last seven and a half years i i, I don't know but that's because i gave the power and i was so 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 lost like so lost but you know you have to hit rock bottom sometimes before you know you need to change and that's the thing you have to be real with yourself you have to be honest with yourself you know you have to fess up and say I don't like this anymore I don't want to live this life but you have to do it and you have to do it for yourself like you can't do it for somebody else like you know all these times I see people getting a divorce and it's like oh you know are you unhappy like what's going on Oh, you're cheating okay or you have been talking to somebody else and like they're telling you you should do it so you're really doing it for them because you want to get out of this relationship to be with them okay like if you would have said hey you know it's just not working I'm not happy like I'm not feeling this anymore like you know it, it's just not who I am anymore or whatever the case may be if all signs pointed to you doing it for you, I would support you. But when I hear like the, yeah. So, you know, and that's the thing. Like I had to look myself in the mirror and so do you, you know, and say, I don't like the life I'm living. I don't want to feel this way anymore. 
I don't want to live my life for other people, you know, and that was another thing that I was doing. You know, oftentimes I would say at the end of the day, like, what about me? What about my feelings? Who's there for me when I need somebody to vent to? You know, and it was like, I can't give out so much to people and not get the same in return because in my mind, that's not the value of a friendship. So, but you know, and those are things that I had to say I don't want anymore, you know, and I don't want the drama of a bad friend, you know, so I had to cut people off. But those were what I needed to do, those things are what I needed to do to, you know, realize I was broken. You know, I lost my grandfather actually two years ago on the 15th, the 11th, actually, yeah, the 11th he died and the 15th we buried him, so, of June. Um, and that was my dude that like I didn't realize how how much he had um, held me together and it was tough you know and I was holding on to so many limiting beliefs that weren't even mine but when I was so broken like I believed all of that and when I got that little glimpse of that little girl that I used to be and I was like where did she go I'm like I want to be that girl again I don't want to be saying all those swear words that I was but you know that's what made me confident that's what made me bold and you know and I I was sad because sorry I was sad because I was like my grandpa would not even like he would not even believe that I'm living like this you know and that's where I was like holy man I need to change and that's why, you know, I've been on this self-development journey, sorry, to, um, to be a better person, to be a, a better version of myself, because, you know, I don't, I don't want to look in the mirror and be like, whoa, you know, and I don't want to wake up every day like, oh, well, when am I going to feel good about myself? You're the one that has to do that. You're the only one that's standing between all of that. And that's part of being a better version of you. You know, identify that. Identify you have a problem. Identify you don't like how you're living. Identify that, you know, you have shitty friends or, you know, identify things and call them out and be real about it. Be honest about it. You know, and those are all just small steps. And then once you're on your journey, always check yourself. Always be like, hey, that's a negative thought. Get rid of it. You know, tell yourself three positive ones after that. Or, you know, if you're in a slump, do something completely different and be like, okay, you know, I'm not feeling myself. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z because I like doing it and it makes me feel good. Um, you know, just change it up, you know, but know that like if you're taking on a feeling that is not yours or doesn't serve you any longer, get rid of it, burn it, write it down on a piece of paper and burn that piece of paper, you know, journal it, you know, go to the top of a mountain, scream it, whatever you have to do, you know, and everybody's journey is a little bit different than the next, you know, we all heal differently. And you know, we all have different issues that we have to deal with, you know, what is my issue is not yours. Or even if we are sharing the same thing, it's not the same thing because you can't be in my shoes and I can't be in yours. So, you know, just every day, you know, try to be better. Try to, you know, recap the end of the day and say, okay, you know, my day went great here, here, and here, and it didn't go great here. You know, why? Or why do I feel this way? Or at the end of the day, what's still bugging me about what happened? You know, don't compartmentalize that. Don't repress it. You know, get it out. You don't need it. You know, it's funny, I was cleaning my closet today and, you know, I was talking about get rid of the baggage. Well, Victoria's Secret gives out a ton of those big free bags and I had like seven of them and I'm like, and now that I'm talking about baggage, I'm like, what do I need all that for? Like, it's just a bag, but I don't need it. I have seven. I can get rid of five and keep two, like, you know, and that goes for the stuff in your head. Like, you know, okay this is your nose and if you're not gonna get plastic surgery then this is what it is you know you can get some filler to make it look different you can try to contour you know you can do whatever you want but this is it so just start to love it you know find something every day new about yourself that you love you're like oh you know even if it's as simple as like i love the way my heart hair parts you know it is so cool i think you know the way that my nose 
pops up. It's just so cute and cuddly or, you know, whatever. But like, fake it till you make it. And I, and I don't really mean fake it, but like, you know, go through those motions until one day it's like, okay, it's natural to you. And it's like, okay, you look in the mirror and you're like, hey, look at you, you look great today. Or, oh my gosh, that shirt looks so flattering on you. Or like, oh, wow, these shorts fit great. Like, you know, it will become second nature if you continuously to do the work. You know, but all, 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 all goes back to being a better version of you. You know, if you don't care and you don't want to put in the work, that's totally fine. But you're going to be that crummy person that has no friends. Because this retrograde, I know for me, is not going to end until December. And it's going to be this whole self-development and healing and awesome thing. What's it going to be for you? You know, and that's what I always say, like, you're the only person standing in your way and you're the only person that's going to change your life you know you can recreate it you know but like do you want to do it are, are you on fire for yourself do you love yourself do you want to be a better version of yourself do you, does it even matter because if it doesn't you know you should have stopped watching this video um 16 minutes and 15 seconds ago because it's all about you you know and if you don't want to be a better person then that's fine, but the rest of us do, you know? So get out of our way, you know? Don't sit there and point and laugh at us for the people that are trying to heal to be better. Don't sit there and mock us. Like, that's the biggest thing I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot put this stuff on Facebook because my old bosses will be like, oh, look at her, blah, blah, Because I've heard it before and I know that they're gonna do it. And guess what? Their truck colors haven't changed, so they're probably doing it right now, but guess what? At the end of the day, you can live in your little mansion with your perfect little families and you can live your life. And I know it's not going to be as good as mine. So it is what it is. But yeah, you know, and that that's just my message for today. You know, it all starts with you. You have to have the commitment to yourself. You have to want to change. You have to want to be better, you know, and you have to work on yourself. It's not easy. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is your journey. You know, we don't know how long it will take. Everybody's is different, you know, so be patient with people, you know, and just love on yourself. Do things for you, you know, take a bath, do things you used to do. Like I used to hike and I haven't, I do it whenever I can, but you know, when I was home in Wisconsin, I did it like every day, you know, but those are just things that you have to adapt to, you know, so now like I don't want to go hiking by myself here at Red Rock because it's kind of scary. Um, so I just do meditation or I will do weights or I'll do stretching or, you know, I had to just adapt because I knew I needed that outlet or some outlet to replace my hiking. So. But I'm going to pop off here because I feel like I'm jabbering. But yeah, you, you know, I just challenge you to be a better version of you and to love on yourself. And, you know, there's going to be more vlogs. I think that's what we're calling them nowadays, but whatever. V vlogs. There are going to be more of them coming soon um, on my YouTube channel. You know, so comment that you listened. Comment that you like them. If you have a topic that you want me to talk about, that would be awesome and comment below. But check out my Instagram, um, check out my blog, and hope to see you soon.